Hi there and welcome to the channel. If travelling is an investment in yourself, I have just made an investment. I spent the weekend in Finland, uh, in Helsinki, because this is only a weekend trip uh, and I was um, restricted uh, with what I could bring, I cut my kit very light. I brought my X-T3, my Fuji X-T3, and um, two zoom lenses, my 18-55 to and my 10-24. to I did also bring a little tripod, but most of the pictures I'm going to share with you I shot handheld. In this video, uh, I've processed all of the pictures using uh, one of two presets, um, which I have developed, and I, I really <laughs> like them. I use them all the time. They're um, one which is mono, uh, and one which is colour, uh, and they're really set up for Fujifilm, so if you're going to use them uh, with a different camera, you may have to tweak the white balance a little bit, just because I'm feeling generous. If you want to download those presets, I'll leave a link below. They're free. I've travelled all over the world and Helsinki Airport is one of the most um, fantastic airports I've ever visited. It's just so well laid out and it's got a really good aesthetic. It's really nicely put together, it's clean, it's spacious um, and I just really liked it. Straight from the airport we got onto a train that took us down uh, into the city. I captured a few pictures in the escalators going down into the bowels of the earth where the train um, station was. Something that I've been exploring recently is capturing people who are largely static uh, in front of or behind moving things like trains or cars. And I really like this picture which uh, I've used the 16 by 9 crop uh, and just by standing right by the edge of the platform I've been able to create basically a train side of the uh, picture and a passenger side of the picture. We arrived in Helsinki at the train station, which is fantastic. And I guess the theme for this video is my bid to try and capture a decent or a half decent tram picture. I've been trying to capture one for years. The main square had the town hall and some other uh, fantastic buildings and I've used cobbles in the foreground to provide depth into these pictures. Some of the buildings in Helsinki are just incredible and especially the doorways um, which are in, enhanced by um, gargoyles and patterns and in this case uh, some, some faces and some um, uh, animals. The square in front of the cathedral when we visited um, was hosting an international food fair and so there was hundreds of stalls with food from all over the world, but including um, cheeses from the Netherlands and some slightly strange sculptures made out of metal. The size of the 
cathedral made capturing it quite difficult and I switched up to wide angled lens and I was pleased to be able to get a nice shot uh, with a gull in front of the portico. Inside the cathedral there's an incredible organ and I try to capture the, the pipes of it. The issue really is that using a wide angled lens which you need to be able to capture it creates lots of keystone uh, problems. I was able to adjust the vertical lines using the transform function in Lightroom. Once again, outside, I try to pick up a picture of the tram. From this other church, we walked across a bridge and found hundreds of uh, love locks. And uh, I've seen those increasingly all over the world. And these were just as special as all the others. I also tried to capture some Re reflected light uh, from boats in the harbour. Down on the harbour we also found the Helsinki uh, Biennial Pavilion and the light was catching the side of this incredible building just nicely. And finally I was able to get two tram pictures that I was quite pleased with. The first one is a couple that seem to be in love standing between a tram platform and the street just as trams and cars were going by. I picked a slow shutter and they were standing still creating this rather strong image of lovers as the world passes them by. And the final picture, I was pleased to be able to get some late light using some leading lines of the tram lines and the tram itself capturing some of those, that late golden light. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider subscribing. Maybe give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and until the next one, bye for now.